Welcome to Zen Time Sleep Stories. Let your mind unwind as we explore and learn about cicadas. Cicadas are fascinating insects that spend most of their lives underground. These small creatures live in the soil, feeding on the sap of tree roots for years until it is time to emerge. Cicadas are notoriously known for their lengthy life cycles. Some species of cicadas emerge in large numbers every 13 years, while others may wait up to 17 years before they come above ground. Despite spending most of their lives beneath the earth, cicadas are an important part of the ecosystem, and their emergence from the ground is a wondrous sight to behold. After spending most of their lives underground, cicadas make their grand entrance into the world above. In a spectacle that only occurs once every 13 or 17 years, depending on the species, they emerge from the ground in droves. It's a sight to behold as the earth seems to come alive with the sound of their buzzing wings and distinct calls. For a brief moment in time, the landscape is transformed as the cicadas go about their brief but eventful lives. But what is it about their underground existence that leads them to synchronize their emergence in such a precise manner? This is just one of the many mysteries that surround these fascinating insects. Cicadas are known for their loud and distinct mating calls that can reach up to 120 decibels, which is as loud as a lawnmower. These calls are made by the male cicadas to attract mates and can be heard from quite a distance away. The calls are produced by special structures on the cicadas abdomen called timbals, which they vibrate rapidly to create the sound. The songs of different species of cicadas differ in pitch and rhythm, and some even have a call and response pattern. Despite their loudness, the cicadas' calls can be quite soothing to listen to, especially on a warm summer day. Cicadas belong to the order Hemiptera, which means they have sucking mouth parts. These mouth parts are adapted for piercing and sucking sap from trees and shrubs, which is their primary source of food. Cicadas use their sharp mouth parts to pierce the bark of plants and then suck the sap from within. Despite their feeding habits, cicadas are not harmful to plants or trees and do not cause significant damage. Their feeding actually helps to aerate the soil and provide nutrients to other plants in the area. Cicadas have a unique anatomical structure that allows them to feed on plant sap efficiently, making them an important part of the ecosystem. Cicadas are fascinating insects that have a wingspan of up to 6 centimeters and can weigh up to 4 grams. Their wings are delicate and intricate, with veins running through them like tiny rivers. The wings are semi-transparent, allowing light to pass through them and creating a beautiful shimmering effect. Cicadas use their wings to fly and glide through the air, making graceful movements as they navigate their environment. With their large size, they are easy to spot against the backdrop of the sky, adding to their awe-inspiring beauty. Cicadas truly are a wonder of nature, and their presence is a reminder of the tranquility and harmony that exists in the natural world. Cicadas have large eyes that are positioned on the sides of their heads, giving them a 360-degree view of their surroundings. These compound eyes allow them to detect predators from all angles and react quickly to avoid danger. Their eyes are made up of numerous tiny lenses, allowing for a mosaic-like view of their surroundings. As they emerge from the ground, 
Cicardos use their eyes to navigate the world above and locate suitable trees and shrubs for feeding. The vibrant green hues of the leaves and branches stand out against the warm earth tones of the forest floor, drawing the cicardas towards their next meal. Despite their impressive vision, cicardas rely on their other senses, such as smell and touch, to find mates and avoid predators. As they bask in the summer sun, the world around them comes into sharp focus, allowing them to embrace their short but vibrant lives. As herbivores, cicardas feed on sap from trees and shrubs. They use their unique sucking mouth parts to pierce the stems of plants and extract the sap, which is their primary source of nutrition. Despite consuming large amounts of sap, cicardas are not harmful to the plants they feed on, as they do not cause significant damage. In fact, their feeding habits can even benefit trees and shrubs by removing excess sap and promoting healthier growth. Cicardas are a peaceful and harmless addition to the ecosystem, and their gentle presence can be enjoyed by anyone who takes the time to appreciate the wonders of nature. Cicardas are fascinating insects that are known for their loud and distinct mating calls. While some people may be afraid of them, Cicardas are actually harmless to humans and animals. They do not bite or sting, and they are not a threat to our gardens or crops. In fact, cicardas play an important role in our ecosystem. They help aerate the soil and provide a food source for other animals. Watching cicardas go about their business can be a calming and peaceful experience. Their slow and deliberate movements can help us slow down and appreciate the beauty of nature. So next time you see a cicada, take a moment to observe it and appreciate its unique beauty. As the cicadas emerge from their underground homes, they begin their brief but lively adult life. After shedding their skins and taking to the trees, they begin their search for a mate. Though their time above ground is short, cicardas make the most of it with their distinctive mating calls, which can be heard up to a mile away. Despite their loudness, cicardas are not harmful to humans or animals and do not bite or sting. After just four to six weeks, the cicardas will have completed their life cycle leaving behind their offspring to continue the cycle once again underground. For this short period of time, these enigmatic insects fill the air with their vibrant music, adding to the peacefulness of summer days. As the cicardas emerge from the ground in large numbers every 13 or 17 years, they can sometimes cause damage to young trees and shrubs by laying their eggs in the branches. This is because the female cicardas have a sharp, curved ovipositor that they use to pierce the bark of a tree or shrub and lay their eggs inside. However, while this may cause some minor damage, it is important to note that cicardas are not harmful to humans or animals and do not bite or sting. In fact, they are an important part of the ecosystem as they help aerate the soil and provide a food source for other animals. Despite their short lifespan of four to six weeks after they emerge from the ground, Cicardas have been able to adapt and survive for millions of years. Their unique life cycle and behavior have fascinated scientists for centuries, leading to many important discoveries about their biology and ecology. And although they may cause some minor damage to trees and shrubs, their overall contribution to the ecosystem far outweighs any negative effects. 
Cicadas have been used as a food source in many cultures around the world. In fact, in some parts of the world, cicadas are considered a delicacy. In China, for example, cicadas have been eaten for thousands of years and are often cooked with spices and herbs to create a flavorful dish. Some people even believe that cicadas have medicinal properties and can help to boost the immune system and promote good health. While eating insects may seem strange to some, the truth is that cicadas are a nutritious and sustainable source of protein. In many places, cicadas are considered a seasonal treat and people look forward to their emergence from the ground every few years. So, if you ever find yourself in a part of the world where cicadas are on the menu, don't be afraid to give them a try. As we explore the history of cicadas, we are transported back millions of years to a time when these insects flourished on Earth. It may come as a surprise, but cicadas have been found fossilized in rocks over 300 million years old. This means that they have been a part of our planet's ecology for much longer than most other insects. It is believed that cicadas first emerged during the Permian period and have been evolving ever since. Fossilized cicadas give us a glimpse into their past revealing how they have adapted to different environments over time. These ancient creatures have survived countless geological and climatic changes, and continue to thrive today. Cicadas are truly a wonder of nature, and their endurance serves as a reminder of the resilience of life on Earth. Cicadas can be found in many different parts of the world including North America, South America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. This widespread distribution is due in part to the fact that cicadas are adapted to a wide variety of habitats, from tropical rainforests to arid deserts. Despite their global range, Cicadas are perhaps best known for their emergence from the ground en mass every 13 or 17 years, depending on the species. This synchronized emergence is a remarkable spectacle that has captured the imagination of people around the world. As the cicadas emerge from the ground, they shed their exoskeletons and take to the trees where they sing their loud and distinct mating calls. The sound of thousands of cicadas calling out in unison is a true natural wonder, and a testament to the beauty and complexity of the natural world. Cicadas have been used in traditional medicine to treat a variety of ailments. In many cultures around the world, Cicadas have been used for their purported medicinal properties. Traditional Chinese medicine has long used cicadas to treat a variety of conditions, including fever, cough, and asthma. The exoskeleton of the cicada is believed to have a cooling effect on the body, making it an effective treatment for conditions that cause a high body temperature. Cicadas have also been used to treat headaches, sore throat, and other respiratory ailments. While the scientific evidence for the effectiveness of cicada-based medicine is limited, the cultural and traditional significance of these insects cannot be denied. Regardless of their medicinal properties, Cicadas continue to fascinate and intrigue people all over the world with their unique life cycle, distinctive appearance, and loud and distinctive mating calls. Cicadas are sometimes referred to as locusts even though they are not related to true locusts. This misnomer likely comes from the fact that cicadas also emerge in large numbers making a lot of noise, and can cause damage to trees and shrubs. 
However, unlike locusts, cicadas are harmless to humans and do not cause any harm to crops or agriculture. In fact, cicadas are an important part of the ecosystem, providing a food source for many animals and helping to aerate the soil. While they may seem like a nuisance to some, Cicadas are fascinating creatures with a unique life cycle and behavior that have been studied by scientists for centuries. So next time you hear the loud mating calls of these insects, take a moment to appreciate their beauty and importance in the natural world. As the cicada emerges from the ground, it unfurls its two pairs of delicate wings. These wings are a marvel of nature, capable of intricate movements that allow the insect to glide through the air with ease and grace. With a wingspan of up to six centimeters, the cicada is a true master of flight. As it takes to the air, the sunlight catches its wings, creating a dazzling display of iridescence. The cicada soars through the trees, its wings beating in a rhythmic pattern that is both soothing and hypnotic. Though it may seem to be flying aimlessly, the cicada has a purpose to find a mate and continue its life cycle. With its keen eyes and sharp instincts, the cicada can navigate the treetops with ease, searching for the perfect partner. Even in flight, the cicada emits a distinct buzz that can be heard from a distance. This sound is not just a mating call, but a signal of the insect's place in the world. As it glides through the air, the cicada is a reminder of the beauty and wonder of the natural world. As the sun sets on a warm summer evening, a chorus of sound fills the air. The source of this symphony Cicadas, one of the loudest insects in the world. With their powerful mating calls, cicadas can be heard up to a mile away. Their distinct buzzing sound can reach up to 120 decibels, which is as loud as a lawnmower. Despite the noise, these insects are harmless and play an important role in their ecosystem. Their calls serve as a reminder of the warm, lazy days of summer, and their synchronized emergence from the ground in large numbers is a testament to their survival strategies against predators. As the night falls and the cicadas continue their song, they create a peaceful and soothing atmosphere, a reminder of the simple pleasures of nature. Cicadas play an important role in our ecosystem. When they emerge from the ground, they help to aerate the soil, which can improve soil health and the growth of plants. Additionally, cicadas are a food source for many animals, including birds, squirrels, and even humans in some cultures. Their abundance during emergence years can provide a boon to these populations. While cicadas can cause damage to young trees and shrubs by laying their eggs, this is typically not harmful to the overall health of the plant. So, despite their loud and distinctive mating calls, cicadas are actually peaceful and beneficial creatures that contribute to the health and well-being of our environment. As we journey through the lush forests of ancient China, we come across a group of musicians playing a unique instrument. Upon closer inspection, we see that the instrument is made entirely out of cicadas. Yes, you heard that right, cicadas. These insects have been used as musical instruments for centuries in Chinese culture. The musicians carefully select cicadas that have just emerged from the ground and are still soft and pliable. They then remove the wings and legs and string the bodies together to create a stringed instrument known as the cicada skin violin. 
The sound produced by this instrument is said to be hauntingly beautiful, evoking the calming and serene nature of the forests where the cicadas once lived. As we listen to the music, we can't help but feel a sense of peace and tranquility wash over us, reminding us of the beauty and wonder of nature. Cicardas have been featured in many works of literature and poetry throughout history. In ancient Greece, cicardas were seen as a symbol of carefree living and were often depicted in art and literature. The Greek poet, Homer, even mentioned cicardas in his epic poem, The Iliad. In Japan, Cicardas are associated with the end of summer and are often featured in traditional art. The Japanese haiku master, Bash, wrote a famous poem about the sound of cicardas in the heat of summer. Cicardas have also been featured in modern literature, such as the novel, The Sound of the Mountain, by Yasunori Kawabata. In this novel, the sound of cicadas is used to evoke a feeling of nostalgia and melancholy. Cicadas have captured the imagination of people throughout history and continue to be celebrated in art and literature today. As the warm summer sun beats down on the earth, a familiar sound echoes through the air. It's the sound of cicadas. Insects that are often associated with the lazy days of summer. With their distinctive loud and rhythmic calls, cicadas have been known to create a peaceful and calming atmosphere in their natural habitats. The sound of cicadas has been described as a soothing lullaby that can help people relax and unwind after a long day. As they sing, Cicardas cling to the trees and shrubs that line the countryside, providing a sense of serenity to all those who listen. For centuries, cicardas have been celebrated for their ability to evoke a sense of calm and tranquility, making them a cherished part of the natural world. Every 13 or 17 years, depending on the species, Something incredible happens in forests across the world. Thousands upon thousands of cicadas, who have spent most of their lives underground, emerge all at once. This mass emergence is no coincidence, but rather a survival strategy against predators. By overwhelming their predators with sheer numbers, cicadas maximize their chances of survival. It's a truly remarkable display of nature's synchronicity. As they emerge, the air is filled with the buzzing of their wings and the unmistakable sound of their mating calls. It's a scene of peaceful serenity, as if the forest is alive with music. One can't help but marvel at the sight of these tiny creatures working in unison to ensure their survival. Standing amidst the trees, surrounded by the sounds of the cicadas, it's easy to feel a sense of tranquility and harmony with nature. Cicadas have always been seen as fascinating creatures, not just for their unique appearance but also for their behavior and biology. One fact that has caught the attention of scientists is that cicadas have antibacterial properties in their exoskeletons. This means that they have a natural defense against harmful bacteria that could potentially harm them. Researchers have found that the exoskeleton of cicadas contains compounds that inhibit the growth of certain types of bacteria. This discovery could have important implications for the development of new antibiotics and other medical treatments. But for the cicadas themselves, this antibacterial property is just one of the many fascinating features that make them such an intriguing insect. With their distinctive calls, large wingspans, and 360-degree vision, 
Cicarders are truly one of nature's wonders. And despite their short lifespan, they play an important role in the ecosystem as a food source and soil aerator. So the next time you hear the loud chorus of cicarders in the trees, take a moment to appreciate these amazing insects and the unique properties that make them so special. As the world turns, life continues to thrive in various forms. One such creature that has caught the attention of scientists for over 300 years is the cicada. They have been the subject of numerous studies, leading to many important discoveries about their biology and ecology. Scientists have been fascinated by the cicada's unique life cycle and behavior which involves spending most of their lives underground and emerging above ground every 13 or 17 years, depending on the species. This emergence is a sight to behold, with millions of cicadas bursting forth from the earth, creating a cacophony of sound that can be heard for miles around. These creatures have intrigued researchers with their symbiotic relationships, their use in traditional medicine, and their ability to aerate the soil. As we continue to explore this fascinating insect, we uncover more secrets about its life and the role it plays in the ecosystem. Cicadas have been found to have a symbiotic relationship with bacteria in their gut that helps them digest plant sap. This is a crucial aspect of their biology that allows them to survive and thrive in their natural habitats. The bacteria in the cicada's gut are able to break down complex sugars in the plant sap that the cicada's feed on, providing them with essential nutrients and energy. Without these bacteria, the cicada's would not be able to survive on a diet of plant sap alone. In fact, the relationship between cicadas and their gut bacteria is so important that it has been studied extensively by scientists in order to better understand the mechanisms behind this symbiosis. By analyzing the genetic makeup of the cicadas and their gut bacteria, researchers have discovered that the two have evolved together over millions of years with each species adapting to the other's needs in order to form a mutually beneficial partnership. This discovery is not only important for understanding the biology of cicadas, but it also has potential applications in fields such as agriculture and medicine. By studying the mechanisms behind the symbiotic relationship between cicadas and their gut bacteria, Scientists may be able to develop new methods for breaking down complex sugars in plant material, which could be useful for improving crop yields or developing new biofuels. Additionally, the bacteria in cicada's gut may have properties that could be useful for developing new antibiotics or other medical treatments. Overall, the symbiotic relationship between cicadas and their gut bacteria is a fascinating aspect of their biology that highlights the incredible complexity of the natural world. While cicadas may seem like simple insects on the surface, they are actually the result of millions of years of evolution and adaptation to their environments. By studying these amazing creatures, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the incredible diversity and complexity of life on Earth. Cicadas have been used in traditional Chinese medicine to treat a variety of conditions, including fever, cough, and asthma. The Chinese have been using cicadas in their medicine for centuries. They believe that the cicada has healing properties that can help improve a person's health. The cicada is believed to be a cooling herb, which can help reduce inflammation and fever. 
It is also believed to have a calming effect on the body, which can help soothe coughs and relieve asthma symptoms. The cicada is usually used in combination with other herbs to create a powerful healing formula. The Chinese have a deep understanding of the natural world and have been able to harness the power of nature to help improve human health. Cicardas are just one example of how nature can be used to heal the body and promote well-being. Cicardas are fascinating insects with a high level of genetic diversity within their populations. This means that there is a lot of variation in the traits and characteristics of individual cicardas within a given species. Scientists have found that this diversity is due to a combination of factors, including genetic mutations, gene flow between different populations, and environmental factors. By studying this diversity, scientists are able to learn more about the evolutionary history and ecology of cicadas and gain a deeper understanding of how these insects interact with the world around them. Despite their small size and short lifespan, cicadas are a crucial part of the ecosystem, and their genetic diversity plays an important role in maintaining the health and balance of the natural world. Cicadas have a strong preference for specific tree species for feeding and egg-laying. These tree species include oak, hickory, and maple. Female cicadas use their ovipositors to lay their eggs in the branches of these trees. The eggs hatch into nymphs, which then burrow into the ground to feed on tree roots for several years. When they are ready to emerge as adults, Cicardas time their emergence to coincide with the blooming of their preferred tree species. This ensures that there will be plenty of food available for the adults to feed on and for the nymphs to continue their development. This preference for specific tree species is thought to be an adaptation that allows cicardas to maximize their chances of survival and reproduction. Despite their selectivity, Cicardas play an important role in the ecosystem by providing a food source for animals and helping to aerate the soil. As the summer breeze gently blows through the trees, a beautiful sound can be heard emanating from the branches. It is the sound of cicardas, with their distinctive and soothing calls filling the air. These insects are often depicted in art and jewelry due to their unique appearance, with their large wings and bulbous eyes. In many cultures, cicadas are seen as symbols of rebirth and renewal, representing the cycle of life. As they continue to sing their sweet melodies, it's hard not to feel a sense of calm and tranquility wash over you. Cicardas have a way of reminding us to slow down and appreciate the simple things in life, like the sound of nature and the beauty of the world around us. For over 300 years, scientists have been fascinated by the cicardas' unique biology and ecology. Researchers have studied their life cycle, behavior, and even the symbiotic bacteria in their gut. Through these studies, important discoveries have been made about how cicadas interact with their environment and other organisms, their role as a food source for other animals and their ability to aerate the soil has been found to be crucial for the ecosystem. Cicadas have also been found to have antibacterial properties and have been used in traditional medicine to treat various ailments. Despite being a common sight and sound in many parts of the world, there is still so much to learn about these fascinating insects. Their continued study is sure to lead to even more valuable insights into the natural world. As we observe these creatures go about their lives, 
We are reminded of the incredible diversity and complexity of the world around us. As the sun rises over the forest, the sounds of the morning begin to fill the air. Birds chirp and insects buzz, but there is one sound that stands out among the rest. It is a loud, rhythmic buzzing that seems to come from every direction at once. It is the mating call of the cicada. These insects, which spend most of their lives underground, emerge in large numbers every 13 or 17 years depending on the species. When they do, they make their presence known with their distinctive calls that can reach up to 120 decibels, which is as loud as a lawnmower. Despite their loud calls, Cicardas are not harmful to humans or animals. They do not bite or sting and are actually quite beneficial to the ecosystem. Their feeding on sap from trees and shrubs helps aerate the soil, and they provide a food source for other animals. Cicardas have a short lifespan of four to six weeks after they emerge from the ground. During this time, they mate and lay their eggs in the branches of trees and shrubs. While this can sometimes cause damage to young trees, it is a natural part of their life cycle. Found in many different parts of the world, cicadas are often associated with summer and warm weather. Their distinctive appearance and loud calls have made them a favorite subject of art and literature throughout history. As the day wears on and the sun sets in the sky, the calls of the cicadas begin to fade away. They will return again in another 13 or 17 years. A reminder of the cycles of nature that continue on around us.